Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go! It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. All right, welcome back to the podcast. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different, and this is personally something that I use within my own business. Um, It's very simple, and what I want you to do is take out a pen and a piece of paper. And I know right now we are in February, and this is honestly, this is the time when most coaches out there crumble. And here's why. Um, You know, everybody on the planet sets New Year's resolutions, and I think that's great. I think wanting to make a change like at the start of every year is, I think that's a positive thing to do. Uh, Most people don't stick with whatever their resolutions are. um, But the fact of having resolutions, wanting to make a change, I think that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. But I do know at the beginning of February, this is when everyone, not everyone, but most people, they fall off the tracks a little bit. They know they want to make a change, but they... You know, they lost a little bit of motivation or a little bit of discipline and they're back doing their normal things. And the way this relates with coaches is a lot of coaches, you know, they reach out to me in November, December. They tell me they want to have a business in 2019. And I I get super fired up for anyone who wants to start a business because I know ultimately they're going to be able to help more kids. And if they succeed with their business, they'll be able to help a lot of kids and they'll be able to financially take care of themselves which is my goal. That's, that is my only goal with what we do on our podcast, what we do on our YouTube channel, what we do on Instagram, my daily newsletter. I mean, I put out a crap load of content with the idea and expectation that those who listen to it, like if they take action, they'll get great results um, or they'll get closer to the result that they want. And that's my, that's my only reason why I'm here. And I do know though, Around February, coaches will slip. They'll lose a little bit of motivation. It's not January anymore, so they're going into month two of the year. And like I said, they'll fall off the tracks a little bit. And doing this exercise that I'm about to show you, it sounds so easy, but what it does is it cuts through all the bull crap in your life. And I'll give you a good example. Um, And again, this is something I do. I do this at least once a month for me personally. And I recommend that you do this today so you can get back on the track and eliminate whatever it is that's holding you back. All right. And this is how I do it. I have a pen and a piece of paper. I don't have a journal with this. Like it's just a pen, piece of paper. It could do it on a napkin. I don't care how you do it. But I, again, on the left side, I just write down my goal. So I write down whatever my 2019 goal is. I write that down. And after that, I draw a line down the middle of the piece of paper. And then I write on the right-hand side, I ask myself a question. Have I been disciplined to achieve this goal? And it's a yes or no answer. And fortunately for me, I'm very driven. I'm very ambitious. Like, I don't feel shy about saying this, but I want to have 100 coaches in our mastermind program by the end of 2019. That's my goal. And uh, I'm going to do everything in my power to get there. And that requires a lot of discipline, though. And if on my piece of paper, if I say no, if I if I know that I'm not being disciplined, then I need to list out why. Like, what is going on in my life that's not allowing me to achieve my goal. And, you know, this is where, like, you have to be very personal and you have to, like I said, slice through all the bull crap in your life in order to understand how to succeed. And um, I got this this gift over Christmas and uh, it's a this pocket knife. And I've never had a pocket knife in my life, but my, my father-in-law... Uh, grew up in the country and he loves knives and he gave me this really awesome knife and I actually (laughs) I feel like a country boy now because I I actually wear it 
on my jeans whenever I go out. And it's it's been very useful, actually. And this blade is unbelievably sharp. And it's funny, like it, if I have a dull butter knife and I try to slice into something, it's not going to do anything. And I do look the same way when I look at coaches. When, when they go through this exercise, if they don't really deeply look at their like what's going on in their personal life, what's going on in their business, it's going to be like using a, a butter knife. It's not going to do anything. If you have a sharp, if you go into this exercise with a sharp blade, it'll cut through all the bull crap. And this is one of those things that it it's hard to explain in a podcast. And I do this much better when I work with coaches one-on-one. But if you're disorganized or you are, you know, unhappy with your personal life that will stem over into your business and if you're really organized if you're really disciplined in your personal life that will stem over into your business in a positive way and these are things i've been learning about myself especially recently um especially after i got married i i I needed to be more disciplined i needed to be more organized and um, all those things are positive and it's not like i'm perfect at that but i know with this type of exercise you can either like just look at it very surface level and be like, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm being distracted by social media. Or you can be like, all right, I need to eliminate that. So I'm going to like take that off of my phone and I'm not going to look at it for 30 days. Or like I'm not talking to parents over the phone. So I need to have a list of parents that I'm talking to today. And so I can get closer to my goal. And again, this all comes down to just being real and taking out the blade, cut through all the bull crap and get down to what is like the core of what's stopping you from getting to your goal. And again, I know this is going to come down to something that is blocking you. And it could be something when you were younger. Uh, It could be your relationship with money, your relationship with your girlfriend. I don't know what that is, but I do know that you have to clear out all the clutter. And when that happens, your business will run a lot smoother and it's a lot more enjoyable and it's way easier to be disciplined when your personal life doesn't feel like you have a ton of stress. <laughs> and uh, again, this is an exercise that if I was you, I would do. Go back, to, scroll back to when I explained it. Um, again, I would do that once a month if I was you and I feel like it's really gonna help you out because you have to take a deep look at yourself and realize, you know what, it's, it's no one else's fault if you're not successful, it's your fault. Um, and there's a great audio book that I've been listening to. Uh, there's an author, his name is David Goggins. And, and he was a, this crazy Marine uh, who has just like completely transformed his life. And it's a, he has a funny thing in there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, th- this sounds terrible, but he was talking about people who are overweight, like, you have to acknowledge that you're overweight before you make a change and you have to be willing to make a change. It's the same way with business. If, if your business is not successful, it, you can't point the finger at anyone else. It's really comes down to you. It is your fault and you have to acknowledge that, but then you have to dig deeper. Like I said, take out the blade and, and realize, you know, cut deep into what is the actual thing that's blocking you from being successful and doing this exercise once a month, in my opinion, like can change everything. It keeps you accountable. It makes you look at yourself in the mirror. And if you're not willing to do that, then again, you won't be willing to make any changes. And if you want to go from point A to point B with business, you have to be willing to make changes. And I will tell you from experience, that was so difficult for me to grasp that idea of making changes because I was so stubborn. And uh, once I did, you know, I was able to reframe my mindset and things were a lot different for me. And uh, so I hope this helps you out. I know this is very kind of deep. Um, And when I was talking about the blade, I'm talking about, (laughs) you know, just like looking at yourself very deep and understand who you are, what you struggle with and uh, take it from there. So I hope that helps. Catch you soon. Hey coach, thanks for listening to our show today. If you enjoyed the content, I'd really appreciate it if you would leave us a five-star review here on iTunes. If you want to attract more committed clients, 
generate more income and create more freedom in your life, you'll want to check out our Inner Circle Mastermind. This exclusive group is reserved for coaches who want to build and scale a dominant sports training business. To learn more about the Inner Circle program, simply head over to our website at www.buildmysportsbiz.com. Thanks again for listening. I'll catch you later.